Oh, if you... Uh, I don't need sound. Okay. We're good. Okay. Um, before the NHL, Connor McDavid recorded 285 total points in 166 games in the OHL. He participated in three World Junior Championships representing Team Canada and earned numerous awards, the most prestigious being the top draft prospect. During this time, he received very little attention and flourished in the background. He continued to build an impressive resume until drafted by Edmonton Oilers last year. Connor McDavid currently does not play, but instead sits on the bench in injured reserve. Even before this injury, however, he tallied only five goals and had a plus-minus of negative four, compared to his plus-minus of 83 in the OHL career. Many speculate that this lack of results is due to the nerves of a young athlete in the face of the media. This star, who isn't even of drinking age, now faces millions of viewers watching his every move. And these are some examples of him. Like Connor McDavid, Johnny Manziel had great success in his pre-professional career. On top of building an impressive highlight tape, Johnny Manziel earned numerous awards such as 2012 AP Player of the Year, 2012 SEC Offensive Player of the Year, and 2012 Heisman Award winner. This meant that as a freshman, Johnny Manziel was the best athlete in college football. However, his situation began to decline his sophomore year. He still earned 37 touchdowns, but began falling short in his personal life citing numerous incidents with the law as a result of his newfound fame. Johnny Manziel continued to abuse his fame in the NFL, citing, nu citing numerous fines and suspensions, as well as trouble for fellow uh, teammates. Johnny Manziel is currently on the fourth string for the Cleveland Browns, one of the worst teams in the NFL. <laughs> so what do these two athletes have in common? And what is the relevance of this situation? Hi, my name is Michael Lawrence. I'm a student here at Notre Dame, as well as an avid sports fan, and I plan to answer these questions, as well as post some potential solutions to these problems. Okay, so the central problem relating to both of these athletes are good. Okay. is that each of them are struggling to cope with the copious amounts of attention brought to them by the media. Connor McDavid is struggling to live up to the expectations of leading one of the worst teams in the NHL. With all the attention, as exemplified above, he's failing to concentrate solely on his, on his performance. <coughs> Johnny Manziel, on the other hand, is abusing his popularity and media coverage, leading to legal problems as well as a lack of performance on the field. One way of improving an athlete's relationships with the media is hiring a personal marketing team. Athletes such as Roger Federer, Venus Williams, and Michael Jordan all employ a group of people in order to help make public decisions on their behalf. Jordan is exemplified in many things, such as the Be Like Mike Gatorade commercials, as shown above, uh, his Looney Tunes crossover in the movie Space Jam, and his Jordan brand apparel line. Uh, this solution, however, only supports the image of the athlete and does not cover monetary gain, er, and monetary gains instead of covering problems for athletes like Johnny Manziel, who, have no, who would receive no emotional or legal help from these groups and would still continue to get in trouble with the law, as well as Conor McDavid, who wouldn't be helped with his nerves and still would have a poor performance, making the consideration of sponsorships essentially obsolete. So, one potential, um, so what are some potential solutions to these problems? Uh, numerous leagues, such as the NFL, already have a code of conduct which employs a system of fines. However, according to numerous psychological experiments, such as those conducted by Jay Belsky of the Psychology Today, um, it is proven that rewards are much more effective than punishments. Therefore, it would. Oh, hold up, I'm sorry. Okay, so some problems, like those previously analyzed, can also translate to problems. Um, in the future for athletes. According to Russ Wiles of USA Today, 78% of NFL players are bankrupt or facing serious financial stress within two years of ending their playing careers. Also, 60% of NBA players are broke within five years of retiring from their game. 
This proves that early habits developed early in careers can lead to problems throughout the athletes' lives. So what are some solutions to these problems? As I expressed before, every league has some sort of code of conduct, which includes a system of fines and punish for, their punish for punishment. However, according to studies such like those of Jay Belsky of American Psychology Today, rewards prove to be more effective than punishment. Therefore, it would make sense to imply some sort of solution that involves a reward. My first drafted solution includes uh, reverse, the implementation of reverse fines. In this example, each player's salary would be cut by a certain percentage, this one being 20%. If the individual athlete continues to abide by their code of conduct and refuses to break the law, they would receive their money back over time. However, if not, these funds would go to any sort of expense such as a charity or league expenses. This solution would be quite effective However, it could lead to incidents like the 2011 NFL lockout, where players were upset due to the lack of money presented to them. Another potentially better solution, therefore, would to be implementing sports psychologists. This idea would include a smaller cut in pay, and the athletes would be more prone to accept this due to the fact that they receive personal assistance immediately. According to the American Psychological Association, sports psychologists have proven to have numerous advantages as shown above. The most important being enhancing performance, coping with the pressures of competition, and the enjoyment of sports. This solution would help athletes such as Conor McDavid due to the fact that he would be able to cope with the pressures of competition. It would also help athletes like Johnny Manziel due to the fact that they would have an enhanced performance and enjoy the sport more. This could lead, this could implement the fact <coughs> that the riskiness of breaking the law would affect their performance. The problems of these athletes desperately need to be addressed. As stars and role models, athletes could determine the behavior of younger generations. According to Rochelle Lohman of the American Psychological Association, adolescents are the most impressionable of any other age group. If we allow them to be influenced by reckless athletes, the general population could see a rise in crime and other incidents. Therefore, it's imperative to help athletes to help ourselves. Thank you.